runtime errors in the Pi calculus. Yes, thank you. Uh, so this is a, a joint work with uh, uh, Ugo Dallago from Bologna, Marc De Vim from Lyon, uh, who should both be here in this room, and uh, uh, Akira Yoshimizu, who uh, just went back to Japan, so he's not here. Um, so it's about intersection types. Uh, I hope that most of you have at least heard uh, about intersection types. Um, they are a very, uh, uh, very versatile and uh, 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 powerful uh, methodology for capturing uh, dynamic properties of, uh, of programs, of functional programs. And uh, by that I mean like, you know, characterizing, uh, for instance, you know, all the programs exactly, you know, the programs that, uh, I don't know, have a head normal form, you know, or that are strongly normalizing or whatever. And, uh, um, and the challenge that we take on in this, uh, in this work is to uh, transport this methodology to uh, the world of uh, concurrency. Um, so uh, our, uh, um, our way of doing this uh, is to, uh, uh, I mean, is, is rooted in, in two uh, previous bubble papers. Um, uh, one, the first one is uh, in my list of uh, uh, papers that everyone should read. It's, uh, it's a very, very nice paper by uh, Paul-André Emeliès and Noam Zalberger, uh, and it, it gives uh, an extremely uh, powerful uh, idea, I mean, uh, viewpoint, that uh, a functor is, uh, can be seen as a type system, okay? And, uh, and the vice versa, if you have a type system, you should be able to see it as a functor, okay? And we use this idea in, uh, in a work that was presented uh, last year, uh, Popple, uh, with my two uh, ex-PhD uh, students, uh, Luc Pellissier and Pierre Vial. Um, and uh, uh, so if you weren't there last year, uh, uh, this is the talk in uh, half a slide. So there is, uh, uh, the idea is that um, there is, uh, for every uh, flavor of intersection types, okay, I'm not going to say exactly what that means, but there is a, a sort of a universal uh, intersection type system, uh, you know, that's that functor U, okay, um, for linear logic, okay. And uh, all well-known intersection type systems, okay, for the lambda calculus, for the lambda uh, mu calculus, for the called by value lambda calculus, whatever, they arise by pulling back, okay, that universal type system, uh, intersection type system, okay, along an encoding of that programming language into uh, linear logic, okay. And uh, uh, so this is uh, extremely uh, nice, okay, it's very powerful, because basically it's telling you that as soon as you have a meaningful way of encoding your favorite programming language in linear logic, you have an intersection type system for it, okay. And uh, um, so let's, uh, let's go. So the, the pi calculus. Uh, so the pi calculus we're considering here, it's, so it's this fragment, it's, uh, it's very standard, so uh, I mean, at least part of it, so the, it's polyadic, asynchronous. The only non-standard uh, feature is this uh, hyper-localization thing. Uh, that means that when you do an input uh, inside the continuation, you cannot have uh, free names that are subject of input prefix prefixes, okay? You cannot do a, a free input, okay, inside the continuation. It might seem like a, a strong restriction, but actually it's not really. I mean, uh, okay, apart from the fact that, uh, you know, the standard encodings of the lambda and lambda mu calculus, they all land in this fragment, there is also, you know, a lot of, like, you know, really concurrent behavior here. Like, I mean, there's all sorts of uh, races, uh, uh, you know, like uh, genuinely concurrent access to shared resources, you know, locks, semaphores, you know, you can all encode them, you know, in this. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a reasonably expressive uh, fragment. And the, uh, the reduction rules are completely standard, except for one that we add just for making our results, uh, uh, um, you know, cleaner. It's that, you know, we allow um, un unusable servers to just be erased. And, um, and then, you know, you can do, like I said, you know, lots of things in this, uh, uh, in this calculus. In particular, you can uh, do lots of very bad things, I mean, things that you wouldn't want your programs, you know, to, to do. Uh, so th those that we call runtime errors. And uh, uh, so there's four kinds. Um, Arithmetic mismatch is, you know, when uh, something, you know, a sender sends a number of names that doesn't correspond to the number of names that, uh, you know, that the receiver expects. Uh, then there's, uh, you know, na um, sorry, messages that will never be received, or dually uh, processes that wait forever for a message, and then there's uh, uh, these, you know, like cyclic um, uh, input-output dependencies, you know, that generate deadlocks. And uh, um, so all this 
is uh, encodable in linear logic. Okay, I mean actually in differential linear logic, but it's not really important here. Uh, so by virtue of what I told you in the previous uh, slide, uh, there is an intersection type system for this uh, for this thing. Okay. And um, so now I'm going to give it to you. But the important thing, you know, that really I, I would like to, you to understand is that we did not invent these types. I mean, the type system that I'm about to present to you, we didn't invent it, okay? It was sort of like, you know, given to us. You know, it's, it's because just by, you know, the very existence of this encoding, okay, you have this type system, okay? Uh, what we had to do was, uh, so there, there were still non-trivial things to do. The first one is find a workable uh, formulation of the type system. For example, you will see our, our type system is uh, syntax directed. Okay, that's not automatic. Okay, you have to work to get that. It's not you know clear that that's possible. Um, second thing, of course, the, the the main results that I will tell you. I mean, you have to prove them. Okay, they're not automatic. And and also one you know I actually slightly lied to you. I mean, this uh, what you can encode in linear logic is that minus linear uh, inputs. Okay, the non-replicated inputs they do not uh, they're not covered by the encoding. So we had to do some tweaking. Okay, to you know to put them into the system, okay? And, uh, but apart from that, okay, it's like completely automatic. You know, it's really, it's really very nice to me, you know, because I mean, if, I don't know, a couple of years ago, you had come to me and said, you know, oh, hey, you're Italian, you know everything about intersection types. Why don't you find an intersection type system for the pie calculus? You know, I would have had no clue where to start from, okay? And uh, this gives you precisely, you know, a, a starting point, okay? It's like, you know, this thing, you know, they're just this pullback, you know, this like, God of pullbacks, you know, that comes and says, here is the type system, you know, just use it well, you know, and we just, and uh, so you know, that's all we had to do. It's, it's very, you know, it's very nice. Okay, so uh, let's go to the type system. So uh, the types and the, and the typing judgments, uh, so okay, the types are uniform pre-types, so what are pre-types? Uh, pre-types are um, intersections of sequences of pre-types, okay? And uh, now you see that star there? That's part of the tweak we had to do. So ignore that star, okay? So the only uh, basically uh, basic type that there is is the empty sequence, okay? And then from that, you know, you, you can start building, you know, intersections of sequences of, you know, types. And uh, uh, then a, a type is uniform in the sense that uh, all of the, um, the sequences in an intersection have the same length, and, you know, uh, iteratively so, okay? And uh, um, so that's a type. A typing judgment is, uh, so it's of that form. And uh, um, so you have on the left uh, uh, declarations for, uh, uh, for input names, on the right declarations for output names, and of course the same name can appear on the left and on the right because you can use the same name for input and for output, okay? And, uh, um, and in, in the, on the input side, you have additional uh, information that gives you uh, output dependencies. That's for, you know, preventing those dependency cycles. I mean, you will, I guess, yeah, here I give you a little example that explains that a little bit better. So, uh, so typically, okay, what does the judgment like that mean? Uh, so it means that uh, the, the process P is capable, among other things, of, uh, uh, so you see you, uh, the X is typed on the input side, so it means that you, know, you, could, you will input on X, okay, twice because you have a, a binary intersection. Oh, intersection here, it's non-idempotent, okay, which means that you, know, you can actually count you know, how many uh, things you do, you know, how many usages you do of that uh, particular name. So, so you will use, in, on that particular execution, you will use uh, X as input twice, okay, so you will input twice. Uh, it will be unary because you see there are unary sequences, so you will receive one name, okay. In one case, you will receive a name that will be used in turn to, uh, to output uh, I mean, for a nullary output, okay, just to, you know, ping, okay, just send nothing. And on the other case, you will, you will receive a name that you will just discard, you will not use it, okay, top is the, is the empty intersection, okay. And uh, so that's, it. oh, and, uh, you know, and the Y in the dependency of X means that in one of those, uh, you know, two inputs, by performing one of those two inputs, or maybe both, you will release, you know, the possibility of sending Y, because, you know, there was a Y that was underneath, it was guarded by the prefix, okay. Uh, that I had X as, as a, a subject. So here are the typing rules. Uh, actually, I mean, there, there are like examples of them, except, I mean, the very first one, of course, that's so simple that I just gave you, you know, the actual rule. The other ones are just instances, okay, because otherwise they would have been, been a bit too complicated and a bit too big to fit in just one slide. Um, so zero, you just type it, you know, you just say, okay, I just add a bunch of names around it and, you know, they're not used. Okay, top just means they're not used. Um, so output that will explain you a little bit, you know, the meaning of type. So you see, uh, first of all, okay, uh, Y, the name Y is just there, you know, we just give it a type, it's B, okay, whatever. 
it's, it's an object okay, of, of, of an output, and it's fine like that. Then x, you see, appears twice, okay? and once as subject, and uh, uh, once as uh, uh, object of, uh, of the output, okay, of the output particle. So you see, it will be, since it appears twice, it will, have, uh, it will be typed by a binary intersection. Okay? The, the one on the right is the, you know, the A, is its type as object, so it's just an arbitrary type A. Okay? It could be equal to B, whatever. And uh, uh, the one on the left is the type of X as subject of the, uh, of the, uh, of the particle. So it's, it's a type that tells you I am sending two things. Okay, so it's a, it's a sequence of length two, one of type A, one of type B. Okay, and uh, uh, sorry, I'm still on this slide. So, um, what's, uh, so in, the, in the input rule there, you see, uh, I just gave it as an example to see how the dependencies are created. Okay, so you know, when, you, uh, when you do an input on X, you put you know, as dependencies all the, the free names of P that, you know, that perform outputs, okay, and they are inside P. Okay? You just record you know, that those are waiting for X to actually receive something. And uh, the, probably the most interesting rule is the uh, bang, you know, the uh, um, whatever, exclamation mark uh, input. Uh, for the replicated input, because it's where uh, intersections are, are non-trivially introduced. So um, you see, you have uh, that's a server. Okay, you want to type a server, and uh, so a server can do any number of inputs. Okay, it's arbitrary. Okay, so this rule has an arbitrary arity. Okay, it can even be uh, nullary. Okay, it means that just you know that server will never be used. Okay, so in this case, you know it's it's uh, it has arity k, meaning that you know you're counting on that ser server to be used k time to be invoked. Okay, k times. And each time, you know, with a different type, okay? And, uh, you know, and that's, that's it, you know? And then you collect them together and you do uh, that uh, intersection, okay? And the parallel just puts things together and uh, does uh, intersections. And another interesting thing is restriction, where you have, so when you restrict an X, you have to make sure that the input type of X and the output type of X match, okay? That they are the same. That's because actually logically you are doing a, a cut rule there, okay? So you have to make sure that the cut rule is, is between two uh, dual formulas. And uh, um, I mean, there would be a lot to say about the relationship of this with logic, but I don't have time, so I'm not going to say anything, apart from what I just said. Um, so, uh, and then, of course, uh, the, other, um, the other constraint is that within the dependencies of X, uh, there must not be X itself, okay? Otherwise, you would have a dependency cycle, okay? And you don't want to type that. And, and then, of course, you have to maintain, you know, these dependencies. So, for example, you know, you see that there's like a, a transitivity thing there going on. So, you have, if Z depends on X and X depends on Y, then, you know, in the, in the conclusion, you will have that Z depends on Y, okay? And that's it. So, there is just one rule that I didn't write. It's the one about, you remember, that star that we, you know, that sort of tweak that we added. So, there's one rule that covers that. I just didn't include it. Uh, so, what does this type system do? How many minutes I have? Okay, no, it's good. Uh, so, um, this, okay, so by completely standard arguments, okay, you just have to do basically nothing, okay, just, you, uh, you have this uh, theorem, okay, that uh, uh, this system exactly uh, characterizes uh, those processes, I mean, the closed case, okay, let me restrict to the closed case because it's easier to, to state the results. Uh, so, a, a closed process is typable if and only if uh, it reduces to zero. Okay, and uh, uh, so of course, I mean, you might object, and I would agree with you if you do, that uh, this is not a very interesting property in a, in a concurrency setting, because I mean, uh, if you have a process, you know, that has millions, you know, of possible executions, I mean, what do you care that one of these, uh, you know, goes well, you know, that just, you know, terminates? I mean, it's not really very interesting. It would be more interesting to consider a property like that, okay, like uh, uh, that I call good behavior. Uh, which is, uh, uh, okay, a process is well behaved if whatever happens, uh, there are no runtime errors, okay, and you can reduce to zero, okay? So think of an operating system, okay? That's the typical property you, you would ask of a good operating system, okay? It means that whatever happens, you never get the blue screen of death, and, uh, uh, and you can always, you know, shut down the system, okay? You can always say, oh, yeah, I want to turn it off. And, uh, and now, except that it turns out that uh, this property is badly, badly undecidable. Okay, it's worse than semi-decidable. Uh, so in particular, it is out of reach uh, of being captured by any type system in the traditional sense. Okay, in the sense that you know, a type system that has finite type derivations. Okay, it's just hopeless. Okay, it's logically impossible. And, uh, but still, uh, our type system is so good, you know, it just, it, it, it's so you know, fine-grained that it, we, we are still able 
to capture this in you know in a certain sense, in a certain way. And so in fact, if you look at the um, at the uh, the type variations, you will see that they are actually talking about uh, one possible behavior of the process that they type. Okay. And so it is possible to give a definition that I, I won't give to you. Uh, it would be a bit too technical. Um, so it is possible to say what it means for a derivation to, um, to match okay, uh, a certain reduction. So that means that basically that derivation is talking about that particular behavior, okay, that particular reduction. Okay. And then we, we can define complete typeability, okay, meaning that uh, all the behaviors are captured, of a process, are captured by the type system. In the sense that for every behavior, there is a witness of that behavior. Okay? There is a type derivation that witnesses that behavior. Okay? And then the main result of our paper is that complete typeability is exactly the same thing as good behavior. Okay? So if um, you know, something escapes the type system, it's because that something is, is a bad behavior. Okay? It's something that shouldn't be typed. Okay? So that's, uh, that's nice. And uh, um, so a bit of, uh, I guess, uh, discussion. So, uh, of course, I guess, yeah, I already said the first thing. Um, so, of course, so this is, yeah, I mean, there is this, you know, theoretical obstacle, you know, of pi zero to complete. And so, of course, you can never hope, oh, oh in particular, sorry, let me, I, I didn't remark this, but of course, you see that, uh, uh, sorry, I don't know if, you, if everybody knows what pi zero two means, but pi zero two means just, you know, that it's a for all exists, okay? And in fact, you see that property completely typable is for all exists, okay? So you cannot hope of having having anything different than that, okay? If something characterizes well behavior, I mean, good behavior, then it must be for all exists, okay? And uh, uh, so, you know, that's really the best one can do, okay? Um, but uh, uh, still, you know, so, I mean, of course, this is, uh, uh, I mean, it's unusable in practice, okay? But, I mean, on the one hand, I mean, our objective was just to sort of, you know, explore, you know, the, the limits, okay, of what you can do with intersection types in, uh, in in a concurrent setting, and uh, uh, but still, you know, it's it's not completely hopeless uh, the, the the situation because you will see. I mean, in the paper there's a couple of examples of this that um, if in certain cases you're able to actually give you know all of the uh, uh, type derivations of uh, of, a, of a certain process. You can actually represent them, you know, by means of uh, you know parameters. Okay, they're they're very simple examples. The one we give, but you know. One can imagine that, you know, with more complex parameters, you know, you can, uh, you can uh, um, uh, basically capture the, 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 whole, the whole behavior of, of one process, okay? So it is possible that, of course, by losing completeness, because, you know, you will never be complete because of pi zero 2 and typeability is sigma zero 1, so hopeless. But, you know, losing completeness, we would still have uh, a usual type system, okay, that character, I mean, that, sorry, that ensures, okay, good behavior, okay, that is sound, okay. Uh, by you know the fact that you know it captures all of the behaviors modulo these parameters, okay, and then you know using this result, you know you know that you have good behavior. And I guess I'm just gonna stop here. Thank you. So for for the lambda calculus. Uh, in non-idempotent intersection type systems or a way to reason syntactically on the relational model. Is there something similar here for the pi? Oh, yes, yes, absolutely, yes. In fact, this, you could see this as exactly as, uh, uh, so uh, let me go back here. So you see there is uh, uh, linear logic. You should look at it. Actually, it's differential linear logic proof nets, okay? And uh, uh, that's, you know, the, the, the pi calculus, okay? So um, what we're doing here, when you, when you pull back, basically you get those uh, proof nets, okay? That, sorry, and uh, the, uh, the universal uh, intersection type system in this case is the relational semantics, essentially, okay? So when you do the pullback, what you get is those uh, uh, proof nets that encode the processes uh, decorated with, you know, the, uh, the relational semantics, okay? So it's exactly what you're saying. Okay, I, I wonder now if, if we could look at the replication rule in yes. the type system. Um, I'm just wondering, it, um, because this, in some sense this type system is very nice and in some other sense it's positively awful because it's, uh, because, well, you would like ty typeability to be decidable. Uh, one thing I noticed about replication is that you, 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 pr you have to provide an estimate of how many times a replication is unfolded, don't you? Is that what makes the type system so awful slash nice? Uh, 
Um, yeah, I mean, that's what makes, okay, so the type system itself, just, you know, by itself, without, you know, in the usual sense, is undecidable just because it's, uh, it, remember, it captures, it doesn't capture good behavior, but it captures this thing here, uh, you know, reduce, having a path that reduces to zero, and that's undecidable already, okay, yes, so. Um, and uh, yes, so of course, yes, I mean, it, the thing is that you have to, uh, you know, if there is this path, okay, it's undecidable that it's there, and uh, it's undecidable to know how many times you would use every, you know, uh, I don't know, server in your thing, in a way, you know, that uh, this reduction becomes typable, yes, so yes, of course, it's, uh, that's where undecidability comes from, yes. Uh, you, told, uh, you have some syntactic restriction in the input, mm -hmm. and this is called local PyCalculus, if I am correct. And because, and I want to know why, uh, why you need this restriction, and if you do not have re this restriction, what happens? Ah, yes, that's a very good question, yes. So we, we uh, answered that in the paper, but uh, yeah, let me uh, give a quick uh, idea here. So um, first of all, so the, the localized or local PyCalculus has the restriction only on, on the names in Y. So here we restrict every, we say, no, there is just nothing, okay, that is input. And that restriction comes from the fact that in the encoding uh, of uh, the PyCalculus in linear logic, uh, replicated input is encoded by a box, you know, one of those things. And, uh, the, you know, the, there is only certain things that can pass the, you know, a box, okay, that can traverse the, the border of a box, and those are the things that correspond to outputs. So you can have no inputs. So uh, the question is, of course, can we get rid of that? Uh, I am not sure. Maybe one can tweak, again, the system, you know, to get rid of that. But, uh, you know, the system as it is given to you, you know, by this, uh, by the way, for the record, the god of pullbacks doesn't exist. I just made it up. You know, uh, it's, that system is, uh, is, uh, is like this, okay? I mean, I don't know if, you know, if you start tampering, you know, with this uh, god-given thing, I don't know what happens, okay? Let's take a last one as the next speaker comes up. Um, I think this question is related to knob codes, but why did you introduce a new calculus instead of using the one by Honda and Roland? I mean the internal local uh, asynchronous by calculus. Well, it's not that we introduced it, we just, uh, I think th this is a bit more general. I mean, it's uh, because it doesn't have the, uh, the internal restriction. Right? I mean, their, their calculus has, uh, you know, has a further restriction that's, you know, the fact that you can only send uh, new names, okay? Here you can send anything, so, you know, we just thought, in fact, when I say that, yeah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't have time to say that, but, you know, those two encodings actually are not usable as they are. We had to re rework the encoding, so there was a preliminary work by myself and Marc de Vim, uh, which wasn't published, but anyway, it's, uh, it's a new encoding, okay? And this encoding, you know, covers this calculus, minus the, 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 um, the non-replicated input. And uh, uh, so, you know, it's more general than, you know, the internal, so, you know, that's why we... Thank you.